Okay, guys, I'm back. Happy Friday. Woo! Okay, so I want to talk about this. I go to the gym every morning, and there's probably at least 20 or 30 big screen TVs lined up across the whole side of uh, about 500 feet of the gym. And uh, so I can get right in the middle, and I watch all the TVs as I'm working out. The news is on when I get there at 5 a.m., all right? And Fox News is right there, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNBS, MSNBC, uh, PBS, BBC from Britain. Uh, there's a couple other international ones. Now, here's the thing. Now, they're all discussing the, the problems with the economy, the dangers of Iran, uh, Trump's missteps. The, the news of the day, um, stuff we should worry about, stuff we should be concerned with, stuff we should know about, uh, and except Fox News. This is every morning. And any, look, you, you could easily go, go somewhere where you, or just switch back and forth any morning and, and watch for yourself. And you'll see I'm telling you the truth. Um, except Fox News. And they... They will not be telling the story of the day. They'll more than likely, okay, yesterday, they were still talking about Biden. Okay, now I've gone back and I've researched the story on Biden's son and the and uh, the Ukraine and his energy company. This is the take I got. And this is this was several sources, news sources, independent, not Democratic, not Republican. Uh there was there was an investigation. The uh, the prosecutor at the time was corrupt. They were having a problem with him accepting bribes and whatnot outside and outside the country. Kind of a typical old Soviet uh, Soviet Union style sh bullshit. Uh, and he was investigating Biden. Now. Biden's Biden. This is by investigating Biden's son. Biden was vice president, I believe, at the time. Now they needed to get this this dirty guy out, this prosecutor. Now, by even though this this prosecutor was investigating Biden's son, and he was good, he, he would have been easier to handle and to give a good report on Biden's son. By Biden helping get this dirty prosecutor out. It's going to make it harder on his son because now they're going to put in a real hardcore, no nonsense, no corruption prosecutor, which they did. The old prosecutor and the new prosecutor both, there, there was no bull, there was no fucking, there was no corruption. There's no evidence whatsoever from every, every report I've read, no evidence of corruption, no problem. He was investigating, make sure he was on the up and up. Because it was a big money, it was energy, it was it was another B, he was involved in another country. So yeah, he was investigated, as would anybody would probably would be. And uh no, there's no there was no nothing. I I I swear to god, I found no evidence of not even a story, not even a a rumor of anything. I swear to God. So, but Fox News is still talking about this. There's no news there. You know, it, first of all, it's a story from 16 years ago. I think I think 16. When was a uh, no 10 years ago? Maybe about 10 years. It's a story from 10 years ago. All right. It's just being brought up to to put a, a to throw some mud on Biden. And so, I mean, Fox News is a propaganda channel, man. They they are not news. Now then, there's a story about uh, what's his name. Um, Shep, Shep Smith, or Shep Shepherd, Shepherd Smith Shepherd, whatever the hell his name is, leaving. Now he's he was one of the guys that actually spoke up, and this he's like, this isn't journalism, man. I'm leaving. I'm out of here because all we're doing is kissing Trump's ass, and and we're 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 not even being honest. It's more like a fucking entertainment tonight, kissing Trump's ass. <clears throat> so Shep Shep Smith Shepherd, whatever the hell his name is, left left. Um. And that's the story of Fox News. They should maybe they don't even have the right to call themselves journalists. Um, and like I said, if you watch all the news stories across, I mean, they will come up to avoid any story looking bad on Trump. 
they will they will talk about a story from Hillary. Hillary's email. Good God, that is done, man. And they'll still be talking about it. Well, what about this? What? And they, then they have the nerve to even talk about, because they got to talk about something, and they can't talk about what's really going on, how Trump looks like a fucking moron, because they know Trump is watching their show at that second, because he calls in. It's all, I mean, it's so, it's, it's, it's corrupt. It's dishonest. It's not even real news. It's Soviet-style fucking propaganda. Between the president and his news company. I've actually seen the, the reporters on Fox News turn to the camera and go, you shouldn't do this, Mr. Trump. Like talking to the camera, knowing that Trump is at the White House watching the show. That, that's, that's called a conflict of interest, man. I mean, and it goes, and that's, that, that's putting it lightly. Um, Fox News is just, it, it's just corrupt nonsense. It's not even current news. Now, if, if, if these Trump supporters are watching this, they're getting this skewed version that they think, that they, that, that's why they keep bringing up Hillary and shit, because they think it's news, and it's not, man. The rest of the world is past it. It's done. The report, the, the, all the investigating is done and over. No corruption, no evidence whatsoever of intentional anything. Done. They're still talking about it because they got to talk about something. You know, Fox News is a joke. And then these Trump supporters will, will watch, read, read uh, Trump's, Trump's Twitter feed. And Trump, look, like he calls the Constitution phony. Now, you're going to have Trump supporters believing every word he says, and they're going to actually be repeating that. Oh, the Constitution's phony. The Amalia's Clause, we heard it's, it's phony. You know, Trump should be able to do what he wants. It's phony Constitution. Oh, good Lord, man. This is why I'm losing. I lose. I've lost all respect for Trump supporters. I mean, now you're supporting a man above our country above our constitution, above everything. You're putting a man before us, before the entire United States of America. You're putting a corrupt man first. You know, shame on you, man. You're going to be, I think Trump supporters will be in the future, in a decade, two decades from now, if we survive. Um, they're going to be viewed worse than uh, Nixon supporters were in the first, like in the 80s and the years after Nixon. You guys are going to be, you guys are going to have to fucking wear bags on your heads because um, you're being played. You're, you're putting your, you're putting a man uh, symbol, uh, a billionaire on top of that, a billionaire casino owner. You're putting him above the United States of America. A guy that puts himself above Washington, above all the other presidents, and you're 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 fucking kissing his ass. I mean, you guys, you guys should be embarrassed, ashamed. All right, that's all I got to say for today. Fox News is corrupt. It's not even news. Have a good weekend.